in this talk, I'll uh, go to the RAF 100 augmented reality flycast project we had last year. And the project was about the uh, association with uh, the Royal Air Force 100 year anniversary, which was last year. And we tried to sort of create awareness of the history and diversity at RAF uh, to the general public. So, and it was a cross school, uh, uh, cross disciplinary projects. Uh, so, it's, uh, I'm from School of Computer Science. Uh, and then Wayne Christian from School of Design, that uh, Wayne was very in integral in uh, uh, designing uh, much of, the, uh, much of the, the project itself. And then Heather Hughes from Cultural Heritage Studies and, and her <coughs> students, Jenny Smith and Cameron Huggett, that they were providing the historical context uh, and, and the content for the, for the project. And we were supported by Julian Freed, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, and Suki Chohao from the Central. Center for Cultural Creativity, and there were a lot of other staff and students involved. So if you are not on this list, uh, I, I apologize, but that we are very grateful for all of you. And it was also a big uh, collaboration with other institutes, well, RAF, uh, uh, as RAF 100 as uh, the main, main partner, then a Royal Air Force Museum. Harmony Studios were actually the development company that we did the, the final technology and also with the Air Power Association and uh, some of the other uh, sort of backers of the RA100 project. So, this was the sort of starting point. This was the so-called so, so secret night of augmented reality projects we did a couple of years back. It was a really sort of low fidelity augmented reality uh, thing uh, connected with the night trail. Uh, 2017. But this then got, uh, uh, we got an interest from uh, uh, RAF to support the, the 100 year anniversary, and they wanted to do something with augmented reality. And there were a lot of different ideas going around. Uh, uh, for example, that I said we, we would just recreate this one with, uh, like, the instead of a knife, we would have a, just a, an air, airplane there. But we very quickly drew, uh, doing some very early sketches of how the interaction would look like or what the concept would feel like was that we were wanted to recreate the fly paths which were going to happen during the, uh, uh, the 100th year anniversary as augmented reality application on your phones. So how many of you know about mobile phone augmented reality? Okay, right, so I'll have a, there's going to be a demonstration video later, but it is uh, just like that you can see um, virtual objects in your real, in the real environment through your mobile phone. So that is pretty much the, the, the idea there. And in this case, the, 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 the idea was that, uh, that you had these fly paths with uh, historical airplanes, and then you could recreate these fly paths wherever you were uh, using the mobile uh, augmented reality. So you could see those uh, uh, planes flying around in the real world through, the, through your mobile phone. And the, the, uh, the application is also available freely for download from uh, Google, Apps, uh, Google Play Store and also Apple App Store. So RAF 100 AR fly past as a, as a search term and you should be able to download it. And it's still available. And then there are some uh, other really uh, sort of early sketches that this is how the interaction design works, that they make really good sketches first in order to understand that what is going to happen, uh, or what are the sort of opportunities uh, for the application itself. And, and there are a lot of different versions of uh, the actual interaction uh, done before we start the actual production. And then, after all these things that we're having the discussions with the partners, is that, that these were then started to uh, uh, coalesce into, that these were the main components of the project itself, which was the supply pass, and also that you were able to collect those aircrafts to your application, and also that we wanted to, to tell stories about the history of RAF through these aircraft. So each of the aircrafts, when you collected them from the fly past, contained uh, one or more real stories about the people behind those aircrafts. And uh, there, the Heather Hughes and uh, her, her team, that they were integral in coming up with uh, finding out what these stories were, and also writing those stories. 
So the next one, next step is that we make some mockups, very quick mockups of trying to figure out that how will the augmented reality application really work or what look like. Um, these are like quite simple uh, sketches, mockups of uh, the, so how you can add the, your aircraft to the collection. <coughs> and then also coming up with mockups for user interfaces about uh, the, the technical details and then also about the stories behind the, uh, behind the, the, the planes. And uh, mockups of the, the air, air hangar that you could place your aircraft <coughs> have collected on, on, the, on your coffee table, for example, and view that model on the coffee table. And all of these features actually are in the, in the final, uh, final uh, application. So then we also wanted to make it more engaging, so we added some game mechanics there. So collection, character development. Uh, building and nurturing, which was uh, something that we wanted to see more history about the aircraft. Uh, competition and expression and sharing, because from the application that you can take photos of the, of the fly paths that you are looking through your mobile phone, and then you can share them with the, in the social media. And also completion is that, that there are about 40 different airplanes that you can collect, but you can never collect all of the airplanes in one go. So we, have, we also released the aircraft uh, over time, over a couple of months, in different flight paths. And for, oh, for this one, we also were working with student groups and made, made some um, <coughs> say, uh, technological uh, tests and demonstrations. So here's a video of a, one of the early ones. It's quite crude, but that's how the sort of technology uh, development works. Then we also made slightly, slightly more advanced uh, so this was a so this was a concept concept video of how that would look like from uh, through your uh, mobile phone, and then we started to do the sort of the, uh, map out the whole the whole inter interaction flows, uh, the, having these mockups and uh, flow charts. And also that during the process was that, that, that we, we used these as uh, tools for discussing where to go with the design. So that this is one, this is a sort of an aftermath of one of our design meetings with, with, the, with the partners, is that uh, what do they think about that how this flow could work, how this application could work on. And, and we had many and many iterations of, uh, of these designs. And then also that going into more details, we made many versions of the, the final user interfaces. Uh, this, is like a, a, this is one way of visualizing different uh, uh, ways of uh, conveying the same information. But and in the end, that this is the sort of uh, this is directly uh, captured from uh, your mobile phone. Uh, this is one of the like uh, the red arrows, and this is how the augmented reality looks like. So this is this was that the, uh, was one of the fly paths is that the red arrows fly past, and then you can collect these red arrows uh, airplanes. There should also be the engine noises background, but we, we were able to capture it, and uh, and we also recorded different uh, engine noises for different airplanes. And here's another one from the cathedral. Yeah, now we have them. You can almost hear something. I might hear a truck, though. Uh, and, then, uh, and then we were also demonstrating this uh, application in many of the RA100 events. In, uh, this was in Postcards Parade uh, in July in London. Uh, there are a lot of people interested in uh, testing out the application. And also that the, the many of the younger kids that they, they were actually really really fascinated by this augmented reality. Many of the kids that they were when they were showing them the augmented reality, they they would do, they, they peek behind the mobile. <laughs> and, say, oh, <laughs> and also many older people did that too. Uh, and here's uh, in the Duxport, uh, the Air Force show also that uh, the fascination uh, with, the, with the younger people. And here are some also some just the snapshots that which we were also sharing in social media from the postcard already when there was also the, the big 100 uh, year anniversary <coughs> slide past over, over the host cars parade and we were also recreating that one in augmented reality too at the same time. 
So thank you and download the application, please. <laughs>